Welcome. In this short tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create a line chart in Google Sheets. Here we've got a pretty standard data set that consists of some dates with corresponding rates for currency exchange rates. We're going to use this data to create a line chart using Google's chart services. To get started, we're going to select the entire range of the spreadsheet by clicking in the top left corner of the spreadsheet. You should see everything highlighted in blue. Once we've done that, we're going to come over here onto our options bar and find our icon for the chart service, and we're going to click to open that. The first tab that that's going to open up is a recommendations tab. Google Sheets will have gone in, analyzed the data that you've selected and passed through this range variable, and recommend some different chart types to you. So what we're going to be looking at in this specific example are line charts. So here we can see that Google has recommended two line charts for us to use in this sheet. So let's take a look at the first one. Here we can see a pretty standard line set with all of our rates listed over here on the left hand side with our dates listed below on the x-axis. You can see also in the recommendations tab there seems to be another line chart that looks to be reversed and going in the opposite direction. So we're going to go ahead and select this one and then we can also look at some additional chart types that the chart service makes available to us if we click on chart types. Here it will also allow you to turn off the headers and so right now we're using our first row the date and rate va values as headers for these charts um, and so we can modify some of those settings there but we also get some additional chart types some additional types of line charts we can use either this peaked one or a smoother version of the line chart or a bar chart and then down here also some step and area charts um, but we're going to continue with this basic line chart and then do some customizations to it because right now our title isn't very helpful and we also want to make some adjustments to the fonts and color of our line. So let's come over here to the customization tab. Um, the first thing that we're going to have the option to change is the title of our chart. So let's go ahead and retitle this historical currency rates. We'll keep that aligned left, and right now we're okay with the color of the font, but let's go ahead and change the font for this entire graph. So we have the option to select from a number of preloaded fonts, um, and we can try out that wide font, which is a little bit bold and a little bit loud for my purposes. So let's try sans serif, which is just slightly a little bit more low key, and we can go ahead and stick with that. So again, we selected this smooth line chart, but we could always take this smoothing off if we wanted to see those really dramatic changes in value. Um, so we can toggle that on and off. Also, if we wanted to reverse it for any reason, we could do that. Or if we wanted to pre pre present a larger version, we could maximize our chart. We also have the ability to customize the different axes of our chart. So here we've got our horizontal date axis and we can obviously change the label just as we did the title for that um, but we can also come in here and change the way that these labels are displayed on our x-axis so right now they're set to auto and we can see that they're entirely horizontal but we could also add some slanting on there and change the way that they are presented visually additionally we could do the same some of those similar changes to the actual series of data points itself right now that's rendered in this line right here as a blue line so we can hop in here and really easily change the color to something else like green or something that might stand out a little bit or like a little better like red Then we can also edit the line thickness so let's go ahead and change this from two to eight pixels to make it a little bit thicker uh, maybe back down to four that seems a little about right um, and then we could also add in some points as we're going through to show you the individual data points. And then when we are done with that, we're going to go ahead and click insert to insert that chart into our Google Sheet. And so it will go ahead and position that chart for you in your Google Sheet and we can just drag and drop it to remove to move it wherever we want to go. Um, we can also resize the chart if we wanted to make it bigger or smaller. And then once we've done that and put it in our Google Sheet, we always have the ability to go back in and turn it into quick edit mode um, or view mode and then access this little drop down menu to open up some of those editing menus and change any of those options we just looked at. 
So one of the really cool things about creating Google Charts that are attached to Google Sheets is that they're entirely dynamic. As we update the values in this Google Sheet column, they're going to be dynamically reflected in this chart. So for example, I come into this cell and add in an extra value that wasn't there before, perhaps is a little bit lower, we can see how that will actually impact our chart. So very cool, very easy to insert. Um, reflected dynamically as you update values in here, your Google Chart will change. Um, if you have any questions about how to install Google Charts into a Google Sheet, definitely leave me a comment on this YouTube video or in my blog.